thorn tree. Kit is fascinated with the flowers blooming on this tree. They certainly are beautiful. Lubus, Puffbert, and Tinta are sharing some popcorn while watching TV. Puffbert made the popcorn himself. Kit's here with a surprise. It's a petal from one of the flowers. Kit can't wait to show them the whole tree. Puffbert doesn't like when his show is interrupted. Everyone agrees it's a wonderful sight. Puffbert wants his friends to finish watching TV with him. He's huffing and puffing after all that heavy lifting. Oh no! He blew all the flowers off the tree. Now everyone's all upset, and Puffbert feels terrible. Maybe some popcorn will make them not so sad? <laughs> A petal landed on the popcorn. It's given Kid an idea. He painted a popcorn and glued it to the tree. This could really work. Starting to look beautiful again. Wow, the combination of teamwork, imagination, and a whole bunch of popcorn has transformed the empty tree into a visual treat. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Popcorn kernels look like this before they're cooked. You can also just get a bag of ready-made popcorn and it will work just as well. Here are all the items you'll need to make your very own popcorn tree. Put some glue on one side of the twigs and then stick them down on a piece of paper to form the shape of a tree. Now, use the glue to stick pieces of popcorn onto the branches of your tree. Brush some paint onto the popcorn so that they look like flowers in bloom. You can use whatever colors you like. It's totally up to you. While everything is drying, you can grab some popcorn to eat as you enjoy your newest masterpiece. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind It's time to make some art And if the right words are hard to find It's time to make some art Colors are a language understood by one and all 
make an artistic choice to help you find your voice. You don't need to speak because pictures say it all. Let everyone see how creative you can be. When you have something that's on your mind, it's easier than ABC. It's time to make some art. Everybody can wait to see. The right words are hard to find. Your imagination sets you free. It's time to make some art. Why not say it with art? Castles. It's a hot day, and Brushy's having fun at the beach. He's trying to build a sand castle, but it's getting off to a pretty slow start. Luckily, he didn't have too much built yet. Squirt Squirt and Kit are cooling off in the water. Probably not a good idea to get into a splashing contest with Squirt Squirt. Oops! Looks like Brushy's all wet. And the sand in his bucket is soaked too. Now Brushy has to start all over again. The wet sand is staying in the shape of the bucket. <laughs> this is giving Brushy an idea. He got some different shaped buckets. Now he's filling them with sand. <laughs> And Squirt Squirt does what he does best, make things wet. Water is the secret to building sandcastles. Brushy has a plan, but he needs some help. Now that's a sand castle. When you combine sand, water, teamwork, and creativity, you can build something great. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You don't have to go all the way to the beach for this project. Just collect some sand from your neighborhood and these items. Go ahead, feel how the dry sand slips through your fingers. But when you add water to it, suddenly the grains of sand bind together and stick to each other. Now you can load the wet sand into the different shaped molds and buckets. Be sure to fill them up all the way. When you release the wet sand, it retains the shape of the mold or bucket. These are the building blocks of your very own castle. Try using all sorts of different shapes. Lots of things will work. You can stick stuff into the sand to add whatever finishing touches you want. It's up to you. After all, this is your very own castle. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. 
Wonder Balls make music too. Here's a song just for you. Wish upon a shooting star. Twinkle, sprinkle. Sparkles all by himself with nothing to do. There's Glubus, and he's gluing down colored paper. Sparkles excited to play with him. I wonder why Glubus is sneezing. Oh, Sparkle's glitter is making Glubus sneeze. Glubus wants to stay away. Looks like Sparkle's all alone again. There's Puffbert, and he's got a balloon. <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Puffbert's got the same problem as Glubus. Sparkle's glitter makes him sneeze too. <laughs> Sparkle's having fun, but he's the only one. <laughs> Wait, Glubus sees something. <laughs> and he likes what he sees. Sparkle's glitter stuck to his glue. <laughs> now they can make sparkly pictures together. a sparkly universe and found a wonderful way to help each other shine. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Glitter's a great way to sprinkle your art with Twinkle. Let's see what happens when you mix sparkly glitter, glue, and you. Here's what you'll need to make your own glittery pictures. Draw with glue on a piece of paper, just like you would with a pencil or crayon. You can draw lines, shapes, a picture, anything you want. Now, sprinkle glitter wherever there's glue. You can use one color or lots of different colors. Use enough glitter to cover all the glue. Just make sure you don't get any glitter near your eyes. 
then ask a grown-up to help you very gently blow on the paper. Like magic, a glittering scene will appear. And you made it! But you don't have to make just one picture. You can make letters, numbers, animals, anything! With glitter and glue, everything you make will have its own special sparkle. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone! Let's get rolling! Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown, turn it upside down, and just like that it changes to a smile. And for a while, you forget what you let upset you so. Whoa. And take that pout, turn it inside out, and now those lips are ready for a kiss. And just like this, a sad face is erased, replaced with love. Oh, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new way to be. It's a whole new world. When you spread a little sunshine, then the darkest nights become better tomorrow. Today, Kit and Robo Ball are having fun with clay. <laughs> Kit has an idea. <laughs> what will Robo Ball make? It's a blue block. Nice job, Robo Ball. Three more clay shapes. Now what? <laughs> Kit built a little house. <laughs> Whoops, that didn't work. Maybe... Maybe not. There's Spencil. He's drawing a circle. Ouch! Is he hurt? He's okay. The clay changed his drawing. And that gives Robo Ball an idea. Robo Ball made a sunny face. Spencil's making something new. Spencil used the clay to make his circle a happy face. Let's see what Kit will make. A funny face! Spencil and Robo Ball really like it. Kit wants them to work together now. I wonder what it's going to be. Can you guess what they're making? An octopus! Things don't always turn out as planned. Sometimes they turn out even better. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. 
clay comes in lots of colors, and you can make it into any kind of shape. Using clay is a fun way to stretch your imagination. You'll need paper, some clay, and a few crayons or colored markers to draw with. Try drawing a circle, then choose some clay. Really get a feel for the clay by making some simple shapes. You can use just one color or try different colors on top of each other to make all the special details stand out. With clay, you can even twist colors together. There's no limit to what you can create with clay and crayons. Feel free to experiment. With clay and crayons, the possibilities for fun are absolutely endless! Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone! Let's get rolling! It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. Na, 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 Best shots. They won't back. all go in. You give it all you got. And one step back. That's how you win. Hugo are having fun bouncing a balloon with their heads. Oh, look! It's Puffbert. Puffbert loves balloons. Puffbert can't seem to get in the game. <laughs> Ouch! Is Puffbert okay? <gasps> Bursting that balloon made him tingle all over. <laughs> and he likes it. <laughs> Puffbert loves popping all the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hugo filled the white balloon with blue paint! <laughs> Puffbert didn't expect that! The balloon burst made an interesting painting. This is a way they can all have fun.
Our friends discovered a new way to play with balloons and create a colorful painting. What a blast! The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Balloons come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. But for this project, the balloons are going to create the colors. Here's what you'll need to make a balloon painting. Balloon painting can get super sloppy, so ask a grown-up to help you put paint into the balloons. You can use lots of colors, but you don't need too much paint. Next, use your pump to blow up the balloons, but don't pop them yet. Now, tie the balloons. This can be really tricky, so have a grown-up help you. When you have all your paint balloons ready, put them on a big sheet of paper or poster board. It's popping time! Have a grown-up help you pop the balloons. That way, you'll share the fun of making a balloon painting that's bursting with color. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone! Let's get rolling! It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day When you're not on your own Fun times coming your way If you don't roll alone Just try sharing with another To fill your world with color with friends. Moving pictures! <laughs> Happy birthday, Puffbert! Time to make a wish! <laughs> Who's this? It's Filmbert! He's Puffbert's cousin! <laughs> Filmbert's famous for taking beautiful photographs. <laughs> Filmbert wants to take a picture of Puffbird and his cake. <laughs> That's a great shot. <laughs> Kit, Brushy, and Glubus want a picture too. <laughs> Filmbert's going to take a picture of everyone together. <laughs> it's Sparkle. Bye-bye, <laughs> Filmbert! At least Filmbert left his pictures behind. The pictures seem like they're moving. Looks like Kit has a plan. <laughs> A paper cup, some paper, glue, 
What are they making? took of Sparkle are moving, just like a movie. Teamwork put a whole new spin on pictures. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. This is a zoetrope. It makes still pictures look like a movie. You can make one, and you don't even need a camera. Here are all the things you'll need to make your own mini movies. Start by drawing some funny faces near the bottoms and tops of five strips of sticky note paper, like this. Stick a strip inside your cup and have a grown-up cut narrow slits on both sides of the paper. Do it four more times, then snip off the slits. Next, put glue on the backs of the strips and stick them inside the cup. Make sure a bottom face always goes next to a top face. Have a grown-up cut an X in the bottom, then stick in a straw to make a handle. Now you're ready to go for a spin. Twirl the straw with your hands and enjoy your moving pictures. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. When you have something that's on your mind It's time to make some art And if the right words are hard to find It's time to make some art Colors are a language understood by one and all Make an artistic choice to help you find your voice You don't need Pictures say it all. Let everyone see how creative you can be. When you have something that's on your mind, it's easier than ABC. It's time to make some art. Everybody can wait to see. The right words are hard to find. Your imagination sets you free. It's time to make some art. Why not say it with art? Getting into shapes. Spencil and Creon are having fun drawing and coloring. There's Spencilina. She doesn't know how to draw a circle. Pencils making straight lines. <laughs> hmm. Making straight lines isn't as easy as it looks. Maybe Kit can cheer her up. Or not. <laughs> Spencilina would love to draw like the others, but she just can't. <laughs> Kit has an idea. <laughs> That's called a stencil. <laughs> wow! 
With the stencil, Spencilina drew a perfect circle. There's another shape. Nice, but not finished yet. Let's see what they can make out of this shape. More stencils! This should be fun for everyone! undersea scene. With stencils, everybody's shapes are picture perfect. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. This ocean scene was made with stencils just like these. The different shapes help you draw all kinds of pictures. All you need are stencils and pencils. Start by using the straight edge to draw a boat. Then use as many different shapes and sizes as you like to fill in more details. Stencils are great for drawing all kinds of shapes, but it's up to you to decide what those shapes will be. It's fun to turn curves, lines, triangles, and circles into big fish, little fish, jellyfish, any fish. When all the lines are drawn, Dive back in and use your pencils to add splashes of color to your scene. With stencils and pencils, your drawings will be ship shape or any shape you want. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. Wonder Balls make music too. Here's a song just for you. Wish upon a shooting star. Out of the shadows. <laughs> Creon and Spencil are having fun drawing and coloring. Hmm, what's this? It looks like a drawing, but it's not very colorful. Maybe Spencil and Creon could brighten it up. It's starting to look like something. Huh? It's a bird! Ah, that wasn't a drawing, it was the bird's shadow. <laughs> 
Creon and Spencil traced the shadow, colored it in, and their picture looks just like the bird. <laughs> Tracing Creon shadow made the shape of Creon. They're calling their friends to show them what they made. They're telling their friends about the shadow picture. Kit, Brushy, and Puffbird really like it. Creon and Spencil want them all to make shadow pictures together. Brushy's shadow looks like a bird standing on a perch. Kit's shadow <laughs> looks just like a crab. That's a carrot and a bunny. There's a squirrel, and you know what that is. All those amazing animals from just a little light, a little shadow, and lots of imagination. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. We're going to use toy dinosaurs, but you can use whatever you have to make shadow drawings. Just get some crayons and colored pencils. Place the figure so a light will make shadows on your paper. You can move the light to change the size and shape of the shadows. When you have the shadows the way you want them, use a pencil to trace the outlines. Now you can take the toys away and start coloring. You don't have to copy the colors of the toys. Color any way you want. With your pencils, add eyes or other details to make the creatures look however you like. And just like that, you've made some shadows come to life. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown, turn it upside down, and just like that, it changes to a smile. And for a while, you'll forget what you let upset you so. Whoa. And take that pout, turn it inside out, and now those lips are ready for a kiss. And just like this, a sad face is erased, replaced with love. Oh, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new way to be. It's a whole new world. When you spread a little sunshine, then the darkest nights become better tomorrows. And the moon will follow. On the flip side. Spencil and Creon love to draw together. It's great to create with a friend. Kit is practicing some juggling tricks. Uh -huh. 
I guess Spencil can't resist his curiosity. Creon needs something fun to do. <laughs> Looks like Creon has been pretty busy using all the paper. Spencil is upset that Creon didn't leave him any place to draw. Come on, guys. Don't be mad. Kit thinks he has a great idea. Of course, they can both draw on the other side. Amazing! It's the same picture, but with colors from the back of the paper. Let's see if it will work again. It did! What a fun new way to draw! with a rainbow of colors. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You'll need drawing paper, crayons, and ask an adult for some kitchen utensils you can use. Just start coloring, any which way. It works best if you fill in the entire sheet of paper so you don't see any white. It's fun to experiment with lots of different patterns. Then flip the paper over and draw a picture using the different utensils. The thickness of the lines will depend on whether you're using something round or pointy. Whenever you're ready, lift up the paper to reveal your masterpiece. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. Shots. They won't all go in. So give it all you got. That's how you win.
flying colors. Amazing how birds can fly. Glubis wants to make a flying bird. Kit thinks he can. Oh, it looks like a bird. It didn't fly for very long. This bird needs help. String? And glue? I wonder what Kit's up to. It's flying again! It's looking tired. When Kit stops, the bird drops. A bag! And Puffbert! Ah, he's blowing at the bag and making it fly! Kit has an idea. <laughs> Kit and Glubus are making something, but what? Wings for the bag! <laughs> Looks like they're almost finished! Wow! It's a kite that looks like a Glubus bird! Together, our friends created a piece of high-flying art. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. With a paper lunch bag and a little creativity, you can make colorful art that really soars. To make a kite, you'll need some colored paper, a paper bag, scissors, and a glue stick. Start by cutting out a bunch of shapes. Ask a grown-up for help. You can use the pieces to make a face, a pattern, or just to decorate the bag. Next, put glue on the pieces of paper and stick them on the bag any way you like. Don't be afraid to use your imagination. few long strips of paper to the bottom of the bag. They'll help your kite fly right. Attach a string and you're ready to let your creation brighten the sky with flying colors. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day When you're not on your own Fun times coming your way If you don't roll alone Just try sharing with another To fill your world with color
It's not so hard to comprehend. Everything's better with friends. Everything's better. Better with friends. Don't you forget how everything's better with friends. Everything's better. Everything's better with friends. Don't you forget how everything's better with friends. Mix it up. Brushy's busy painting the playground equipment. Oh, but he's all out of paint. Here come the Hugo brothers. They can solve the problem one, two, three. Slide's done. What's next? Looks like the seesaw is. Blue and yellow for the middle parts. More paint. Blue, yellow, Red! Oh no! Brushy needs green paint, not yellow. Blue won't do. Maybe the Hugo brothers have an idea. Blue? He can't use blue. Yellow's not right either. Oh no! Hugo put blue paint in the yellow. It's green paint. Made by mixing the colors. Brushy wants them to make more colors. White and red. Mix them together and what do they make? Pink. Now the Hugo brothers are mixing up all new colors. Red and yellow make orange. What happens when you mix blue and red? Purple! Sometimes the way to make something new is to take what you have and mix things up. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You can paint with lots of different colors by mixing just a few basic ones called primary colors. You'll need water to clean your brushes and some paints. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Paint wherever you want those three colors first. When you're finished, use a clean brush to mix equal parts blue and yellow to make green. Take red and blue paint, mix them with a clean brush, and you've got purple. Mix yellow and red together and you'll have a bright pumpkin-y orange. Use your three new colors to paint the rest of your picture. But you don't have to stop there. Experiment with new combinations to create your own mixed up colors. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. Mr. 
Rushy and Hugo are having fun with paint. That's their sponge friend, Absorba. When he's not wet, he's no fun. They want Absorba to paint too. Maybe he'd like blue paint. Or maybe Absorba just needs a push to get started. Oh well, they may as well have fun. Uh-oh. The rain's getting their drawings wet. What's that squishing sound? It's Absorba! Since he's a sponge, Absorba really loves water. The rain's done! <laughs> Absorba's all dried up. Wow! Look at what Absorba made from Brushy's drawings! How did he do it? Hugo knows! <laughs> That's how Absorba soaked up the wet paint. Now they can all paint together. Absorba, Hugo, and Brushy are each making their own special shape with the paints. All it took was a little rain to help this pretty painting blossom and grow. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You can make an amazing painting without touching a brush. You'll need a sponge, some paints, and a bunch of cotton swabs. Take a few swabs, but don't dunk them all the way in. Just touch the tips to the paint and let the cotton absorb it. Use the swabs to dot your paper with paint. Try taking a few swabs and dipping them together to make lots of dots all at once. Use your sponge to dab on even more paint. You can use your finger to add some final touches.
There are so many ways to paint. You don't have to stick to swabs and sponges or even fingers. Think of new things to try and then soak up the fun. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Wonder Balls make music too. Here's a song just for you. Wish upon a shooting star. Creative juices. Kit's going berry picking. Mmm, nice juicy raspberries. They look and smell delicious. Kit wants to eat them, but wait. What about Brushy, Puffbert, and Glubus? <laughs> Kit's wrapping the berries to take to his friends. That's nice, Kit. They don't know they're in for a treat. <laughs> oh no! All the berries got crushed. <laughs> The wrappers. <laughs> the berry juice made patterns. <laughs> Kit has an idea. <laughs> Tying up the wrapper made a different pattern. Let's see what different juices can do. <laughs> different color juices and different ways of tying the wrappers are making all kinds of pictures. One kit. That's one huge wrapper. They've tied different parts in different ways. Wow! By putting the squeeze on fruit, they really let their creative juices flow. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Fruits come in lots of colors, and you can squeeze their delicious, natural juices to make tie-dye prints. You'll need thick paper towels, rubber bands, 
and some different color fruit juices. Start by folding the paper towel over and over again at different angles until it's about as wide as your thumb. Take a couple of rubber bands and wrap them tightly around the paper. If the towel is bigger, use more rubber bands. Then, pour a little fruit juice on each section of the towel. You can use different colors on different sections and mix colors within sections. When you're done coloring, carefully take off the rubber bands. Then unfold the towels slowly so they don't tear. Let the towels dry and enjoy your fresh squeezed works of art. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown, turn it upside down, and just like that, it changes to a smile. And for a while, you'll forget what you let upset you so. Whoa. And take that pout, turn it inside out, and now those lips are ready for a kiss. And just like this, a sad face is erased, replaced with love, oh, it's a whole new world, it's a whole new way to be, it's a whole new world, when you spread a little sunshine, then the darkest nights become better tomorrow. The Green Clean Machine. It's recycling day. Puffbird is really working hard. Meanwhile, Brushy Kid and Glubus are hardly working. <laughs> what a shot! <gasps> what a mess! Now they have to start all over again. <sighs> no one's having any fun now. Cleaning up is taking forever. Seems like Puffbert has an idea. Wow, a scoop! <laughs> That makes picking up stuff super easy. <laughs> this has Kit thinking. Kit has an idea. They glued a juice box onto another box. They're building something. Bottle caps. Straws. I wonder what this is going to be. Wow, they made a 
a bucket loader from all those recyclables. Now that's a green, clean machine. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You can make your own bucket loader from clean recyclables you have around the house. Ask a grown-up to help you collect them. Gather stuff like straws, bottle caps, cups, spoons, and boxes, along with tape and glue. Cut a box into the shape of the bucket. A grown-up can help you. Use double-sided tape or glue and stick boxes, cups, and lids together to make the tractor. Use straws to make arms and attach the bucket to the tractor. Stick a few bottle caps to the sides for wheels. Add straws for pipes and anything else to finish up your loader. You can cut down on trash by creating art with recyclables and turn paper and plastic into something fantastic. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone, let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. Take one step back. Take your best shots. They won't all go in. Move the two steps forward. And give it all you got. And one step back. That's how you win. Light as a marshmallow. The Wonder Balls are looking for their campground. But it's dark. Hugo's got a bright idea. He's using glow-in-the-dark paint to light things up. <laughs> They're here. This is the campground. What's Kit making? <laughs> it's a picture of a campfire. <laughs> They're pretending to toast marshmallows. <laughs> Kit's having a little problem. <laughs> problem solved. <gasps> Huffbert wants to try. <laughs> now it's Hugo's turn. Aw, <laughs> he missed. <coughs> One more try. <laughs> it's stuck on the stick. <laughs> Hugo's paint made the marshmallow glow, just like the stars. <laughs> Those stars look like a dolphin. <laughs> A long time ago, people imagined pictures in groups of stars and called them constellations. <laughs> the 
That looks like Ursa, the little bear. That's a bird called a phoenix. That's Castor and Pollux, Gemini twins. Our friends created marshmallow constellations that shine like the stars. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Marshmallows have the squishy, squashy, puffy stuff you need to make your own glowing constellations. You'll also need glow-in-the-dark paint, toothpicks, and sticks. Squeeze out some paint and dip your marshmallows. When the paint is dry, connect the marshmallows with the picks and sticks to make constellations. Squeeze paint onto the sticks and draw around your constellations to create your creatures. Then turn off the lights and enjoy the glow of the wonder-filled night sky right before your eyes. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. A good day becomes a great day when you're not on your own. Fun times coming your way if you don't roll alone. Just try sharing with another to fill your world with color. <laughs> Between you and me, and me and you, everything's better with friends. Side by side, it's in the end. A way of life I recommend. It's not so hard to comprehend. Everything's better with friends. Everything's better, better with friends. Don't you forget, it. everything's better with friends. Tale of the Tape. Kit's making something with tape. Working with tape can get sticky. Ah, Kit made a set of train tracks. All aboard! Puffbert's on board. Brushy is too. There's Hugo and Absorba. Hugo hopped on. Emergency stop! Someone missed the train! Get on, Absorba! When Absorba's sponge is dry, he can't move. Hugo can fix that. A splash of paint and Absorba's ready to roll. Oh no! Absorba's gone off the rails! He painted all over Kit's train tracks. Whoa! When Brushy tore off the tape, you can still see the tracks. 
<laughs> Painting the tape makes the tracks turn white. Brushy says, let's do it. engineered a way to put a train wreck back on track. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Tape comes in lots of different colors. Just make sure it's the kind of tape that's easy to peel off. You'll need washable paints, some removable tape, and a large, sturdy piece of paper. Take your tape and tear it into a bunch of long and short pieces. Arrange the tape to look like a railroad track. Add grass, fences, houses, trees, anything you like. Next, squeeze bits of paint all around your picture. And use your finger to cover the paper with paint. peel off the tape and you'll see that painting on tape is a fun way to put creativity on the right track. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on everyone, let's get rolling. It's time for another wonder song. Let's make some noise and sing along. some art and if the right words are hard to find it's time to make some art <laughs> colors are a language understood by one and all make an artistic choice to help you find your voice you don't need to speak because pictures say it all let everyone see how creative you can be when you have something on your mind It's easier than ABC It's time to make some art Everybody can wait to the see The right words are hard to find Your imagination sets you free It's time to make some art Why not say it with art? Rides and Slides Kit's using his scissors to cut paper. It's Glubus. Kit has an idea. <laughs> that looks like fun. Glubus thinks so too. Uh-oh, he can't get to the top. What's that for? Oh, Kit made a stairway. It worked. There's Puffbert. He wants to bounce too. Can they get 
back up that way? Uh. No. Uh. But sliding down was fun. <laughs> 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 they made it into a slide. Brushy and Creon will love this. Oh no, he's stuck again. <laughs> it's broken. But they'll make more. Paper playground full of rides and slides. Now that's how you roll. The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. Folding and rolling paper is a fun way to make unique art projects. Get some colored papers, scissors, a glue stick, and tape. Bend, crease, and curl your papers into lots of different shapes. The paper will keep the shapes you make. Let your imagination run wild, but be careful with scissors and always ask a grown-up if you need help. When you're done cutting, glue some strips together to make a slide. Then build a tube tower with a paper base and a top like a tree. Where glue's not strong enough, use tape to stick things down. Arrange the pieces any way you want. No rules here. With these rides and slides, it's you who decides. Now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Wonder Balls make music, too. Here's a song just for you. Wish upon a shooting star. on leaves. It's autumn, the season when leaves change color and fall from the trees. Glubus is decorating sticks with red and yellow leaves. Kit loves studying all kinds of leaves. He's collecting different types in his scrapbook. Puffbert 
likes leaves, too. <laughs> he especially likes blowing them up in the air and watching them drift back down. <laughs> Puffbird sneeze is way more than a breeze. It's more like a hurricane. Kit lost his leaf. And they almost lost Globus. The leaves! They're stuck to his sticky head. Globus isn't happy. But now that he sees the leaves, he loves the look. <laughs> Maybe there's a way for Puffbird and Kit to get that leafy look, too. <laughs> Puffbird's gathering leaves, and so is Kit. They each have a big pile. Now what? Glubis is sticking them on. Puffbird, Glubis, and Kit use the bright leaves of autumn to decorate themselves. What a creative, colorful way to celebrate the season! The Wonder Balls made art, but that's just the start. It's your turn now. Here's how. You can use leaves, greens, and small branches any time of year to make your own colorful crown. You'll need paper, leaves, scissors, glue, and double-sided tape. Look for clean leaves in parks and gardens. Have a grown-up help you pick safe ones. You can use small branches and pine needles for your crown, too. Cut a piece of paper in half and glue the pieces together end to end. Cut triangles out of one side to make it look like a crown. Use your double-sided tape to stick the leaves, branches, and needles to one side of the paper. Leave room at one end and tape the two ends together for a colorful crown that your friends won't be leaf. <laughs> now you can use your imagination to make your own creation. Come on, everyone. Let's get rolling. Music is a special kind of art. A wonder song's about to start. Take that frown, turn it upside down, and just like that it changes to a smile. And for a while, you forget what you let upset you so. Whoa. And take that pout, turn it inside out, and now those lips are ready for a kiss And just like this, a sad face Is erased, replaced with love Oh, it's a whole new world It's a whole new way to be It's a whole new world When you spread a little sunshine Then the sun 